Hey guys, this is Tom from Class of Plastic, here live at Washington, D.C. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Tom from Classic Plastic here, bringing you another haul video. And um, this week's haul is pretty nice in size, and we definitely got some good quality stuff. So let's take a look at what we got. For the whole haul, I probably paid about 20 bucks. Yeah, about 20 bucks. So um, let's get started. I got a Nintendo DS case, holds 16 cartridges. So for those wild cartridges you find without their box, this is their new home. I also stumbled upon um, a small collection of Dreamcast games. And um, first one up is NFL 2K1 by Sega Sports. And if you've played any of the 2K games, you know they're a lot of fun. And of course, Randy Moss is on the cover. Next game we got is Trick Style. It's a pseudo skateboarding game set in the future. I've never played it. It looks pretty cool. Um, so I'll have to get back to you guys as far as the review on that. I also got Air Force Delta. And um, that's a... Uh, airplane simulation game and uh, it's a lot of fun. I also picked up Expendable and this is an arcade styled shooter and uh, I played it as a child and I had lots of fun with it. Very tough game but very happy to find it again. And lastly we got Test Drive 6 with of course the always intimidating Dodge Viper on the cover. All of these games are complete in box or complete in case and uh, they were all about a dollar a piece so I could not pass up on that deal. The next game I got is a Wii game and I've been actively collecting for the Wii as far as sought after games or low print run games and this is one of them that has been giving me a hard time and I found it at a pawn shop for about five dollars and that's King of Clubs which is also complete in box and the disc looks great. Another mega deal I got was on a black GameCube uh, it was at a church yard sale and I walked up to the lady and I asked her how much she wanted. She said a dollar because they had just transferred over to the Wii and um, of course because it's backwards compatible they just couldn't find a need for this so decided to sell it for a dollar. It's tested, it works and with this one I have a indigo colored GameCube, the black one and of course the platinum one that I reviewed on a past uh, video. Lastly, I stumbled upon a game that uh, definitely surprised me just because I don't see them much around where I live. And that's Zelda Majora's Mask. And it's a gold cart and a non-holographic label. and Especially where I live, all I find are the holographic gray carts. And um, to find this was very refreshing just because I had only seen them, seen them in pictures. And um, you know, just to find one was a great experience. They also had the gold Ocarina of Time one, but seeing as I have two copies of the gray cart, I just couldn't bring myself to passing up on Majora's Mask. Especially because uh, Majora's Mask has a quirky type of gameplay to it so I definitely want to dive into this game as soon as possible. Alright so this is the conclusion of my haul video I hope you guys enjoyed the items that uh, I was able to share with you guys um, please leave your comments and messages below I have tons of fun hunting this stuff down and uh, with your guys support 
I'll definitely be able to keep doing this. So leave your messages and comments below, subscribe, and as always, happy gaming.